This is what your first copper factory should look like. To build this, start by finding enough copper nodes to extract 60 copper ore per minute. This could be two impure nodes, a single normal node, or half a pure node, in which case you'll actually be able to underclock the miner to save power, or to use the other half of the output for something else. Ideally, you want to choose copper nodes close to your starter iron factory that produces iron rods, iron plates, and screws. This is to keep yourself from having to spend too much time running back and forth between the two factories, as you will frequently need to top up your inventory with items from both. Once you've found the nodes that you actually want to use, pick an area near the node that's relatively flat and has enough space to accommodate at least a few rows of connected machines. It helps to also place down some side-by-side -side lookout towers in a row to give yourself a top-down view of the entire build area. Start by putting a miner down on the node, then place a splitter at the start of the build area and feed it from the miner. Next, place down two smelters, configure the smelters to make copper ingots, and feed them from the splitter. In front of the smelters, place down four constructors, but be sure to leave some space between them and the smelters for splitters and belts. Configure all four constructors to make wire, and feed two constructors using one smelter and the other two constructors with the other smelter. Moving on, go to the output side of the constructors, take two constructors, merge their outputs, and leave the merger alone for now. Then take the other two constructors, merge their outputs as well, and this time feed the merger into another new constructor. Configure this constructor to make cable. At the end of the production line, place down two storage containers, connect one of them to the merger and the other one to the constructor. You can also label them like this so you always know which is which. At last, connect all the machines together in a power grid and connect this grid to your generators. This is what the finished build looks like from the top. Automating wire and cable at this scale should produce copper and cable faster than you can spend it, at least for progression or construction purposes. The sky's the limit as always if we're talking about automating other items that consume wire or cable as an ingredient, but you won't have to worry about that for a while. That's it guys, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment if you have anything to tell me, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and check out these videos if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, have a great day.